Over the course of a shift, countless needles will be used to draw blood samples and administer medications. Every time a needle is used, there is a risk of an accidental needle stick, meaning the provider is accidentally poked with the needle, and if that accidental poke occurs after the needle has accessed a patient, there is a risk of transmission of bloodborne pathogens to the provider. From January to July of 2022, there were 23 accidental needle sticks at Trinity Health Livonia, and of those incidents, more than one in four of the patients involved tested positive for a bloodborne pathogen meaning there was a potential transmission of disease for each staff member involved in these needle pokes. This is a risk that is ever-present, but the devices that we use at Trinity Health Livonia have safety features in place to help protect providers from these incidents. The three needles that will primarily be used during a shift are the Monoject Subcutaneous Needle, the Butterfly Needle, and the InSight AutoGuard IV Catheter. Each device has a safety feature built in to protect from accidental needle pokes, but all of them are different. It is the responsibility of the provider to utilize these features to protect themselves from these risks. This video will explain how to activate and properly utilize safety locks for each of these three needles. The Cardinal Health Monoject Safety Syringe is the subcutaneous needle supplied at Trinity Health Livonia, and it is designed with two safety locks for use when administering medication. The first is the soft lock. To activate the soft lock, you simply pull up on the sheath below the needle. It will slide up to cover the needle. However, if you put downward pressure on the sheath after activating the soft lock, it will slide down, revealing the needle. The soft lock is to be used to transport the syringe from the med room to the patient room. It eliminates the need to recap the needle. So after drawing up the medication in the med room, activate the soft lock, take the syringe to the patient, and when you are ready to administer, simply pull the sheath down to reveal the needle and administer the injection. As soon as you remove the needle from the patient, you will need to activate the hard lock. Again, pull the sheath up over the needle, but then twist the sheath counterclockwise. You will feel a click, and now the sheath is permanently locked over the needle, and there is no further risk of an accidental needle stick. The issue with this device is that providers will activate the soft lock after administration, and not twist the sheath to activate the hard lock. If they aren't careful, and they put pressure on the sheath, it will slide down, revealing the needle, and potentially lead to an accidental needle stick with a dirty needle. So please, always remember to twist the sheath to activate the hard lock. The BD Vacutainer Safety Lock Butterfly Needle is the device frequently used to obtain blood samples. The safety lock for this needle is engaged by sliding the needle into the yellow hub. There are a few different techniques that can be used to activate this safety lock. The safest way to avoid any accidental needle sticks is to keep your fingers as far from the needle as possible, and whenever possible, avoid exposing the needle after it's entered the skin. To do this, Secure the yellow hub in place by holding it steady with one hand, and while that is secure, pull back on the tubing. You will see the wings begin to slide back into the hub. When they reach the lock position, the needle will be completely removed from the patient, and there will be no risk of any accidental needle sticks. If you remove the needle before engaging the lock, there is an increased risk for a stick, but that doesn't mean that you should ignore the use of the safety lock. With your thumb and forefinger, hold the yellow hub, and with your remaining fingers, pinch and hold the tubing in place to your palm. Then, slide the hub up over the needle. Do this as soon as you remove the needle from the patient. The longer the needle is exposed, the greater the risk of an accidental needle stick. Finally, the BD InSight AutoGuard is the IV catheter utilized at Trinity Health Livonia. This device has a push-button needle retraction. After accessing the vessel and threading the catheter into the vein, push the white button on the top of the handle. The needle should still be in the catheter inside the patient when you push this button it will be instantly pulled back into the handle of the AutoGuard. With this device, there is no reason you should ever see the tip of the needle after it has entered the patient's skin. The needle retraction should be activated while the needle is still within the patient. If you pull the needle out before pushing the button, you presented an unnecessary risk for an accidental needle poke. So please, utilize this safety feature as it was designed. Accidental needle sticks are a risk of the job but steps have been taken by the suppliers of these devices to protect providers from these risks. It is our responsibility to understand our equipment and utilize these safety features to protect ourselves.